To your point, we do live in a world of trash talk and people say all kind of crazy things. That's part of the sport, assessing what you think one fighter is to the next. But uh, what's caught my eye and really outraged, I think, the whole boxing community as of late is this Tyon Booth and your mate and mine, uh, Kuk and Cassius. I don't want to, you know, uh, pull up the, the comments because they're disgusting, but they are sexualizing a child, his child, in fact. And I, I want your thoughts on that kind of commentary. I mean, it disturbed me, actually, in all honesty. Like, you know, Coogan's a close friend of mine, and when I heard it, it was one of those where you just, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Um, you know, I have two daughters, and, you know, it, it, it disturbed me, I'll be honest. And, and I just thought to myself, you know, I mean, I've had similar kind of stuff said to me on DMs and stuff like that. But to, to have it said on a video that goes viral, you know, and you really have, you know, I think as a, as a father, you know, the first thing that you want to do is drive straight around his house. Right. And then you have to realise that you do that and then you might end up in prison. You get knocked and I out. I hope the authorities deal with it in the correct manner. You know, I, I was disgusted. And, I, I, you know, I'm starting to, you know, I said to you the other day in our interview about Twitter and... Like, it's a cesspit. It really is, you know? And, but that was beyond anything I've ever seen before. D completely disgusting and needs to be dealt with. And unfortunately, unless you want to put yourself in a bad position, there's only one way to deal with it. And, uh, you know, I hope it gets dealt with. Yeah, I found the same comments from the boxing community. I take exactly the same measure of it. Listen, all these guys tune into my videos. Radio Raheem came up to me at a boxing event and he gave me a fist bump and he said he likes my videos. But because he's on camera, he's trying to be all politically correct, you know what I mean? Same with Eddie, you know what I mean? Why ain't he talking about his fucking dad on that dodgy island? It, 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 you know, I think as a, as a father, you know, the first thing that you want to do is drive straight around his house. And then you have to realise that you do that and then you might end up in prison. You're getting knocked out. And I hope the authorities deal with it in the correct manner. They ain't gonna do nothing. I, I was disgusted. And I, I, you know, I'm starting to, you know, I said to you the other day in our interview about Twitter and like, it's a cesspit. It really is, you know? And, but that was beyond anything I've ever seen before. Did completely disgusting and needs to be dealt with. And unfortunately, unless you wanna put yourself in a bad position, there's only one way to deal with it. And, uh, you know, I hope it gets dealt with. Yeah, I found he don't the care. same he's comments. Not bothered. He's not bothered, Eddie. Man. He don't care, man. He don't give a fuck, man. He's just trying to say this, isn't he? To try and, you know what I mean? I give her a little compliment. I said she's quite nice, Coogan's daughter. And he's stupid. Boxing community, I take exactly the same Shut measure up, of it as you do. You give me a I would hope bump. that just all of us, you know, nobody's going to hurt this guy. You ain't going to do nothing. We ought to shut down this type of commentary, this type of individual who would go that far. I don't think we're talking about each other's children or family even. Uh, it's a compliment, too much. man. And Shut I just up. Hope that, uh, the way you shut a guy down like that is just to give him no more attention. You're so, giving me attention, uh, nigga. I asked you that question because I thought it was worth addressing, being that the whole boxing community is disgusted by that kind of behavior. I appreciate your time, Eddie. They're I know not, you're man. Busy. They love it. They, they love negativity. Why are you talking about it? You know you love it. You're fucking of bitch, nigga. With a little bit of character. Stop chatting. Radio Raheem. Look at him smiling away, Eddie. He ain't bothered. Look at him smiling there. He's Fake outrage, innit? People just pretend to be offended. They're not really bothered, man. They love it. They love drama, don't they? Like I say, if I give a kidney away to a kid, they won't care. They won't be talking about it in an interview, would they? They love negativity. So just shut up, Radio Raheem. Fucking Eddie. Stop chatting. Stop chatting away. Smiling. <laughs> What are you angry and disgusting? Now you're smiling. Make up your fucking mind, man. Are you angry or not? Are you disturbed? Are you happy? Are you smiling? You're angry one well, well, bullshit. Fuck these guys. Fuck these guys, man.